Hello Voxel lovers and welcome back to another Vox Edit video with me, Panda Pops. In this video we are going to be looking at the animator. Here you can see the most recent projects, create new asset, open file and import Vox. The animator has six major sections, the menu bar, the skeleton panel, 3D workspace, timeline panel, library, and inspector panel. Much like in the modeler, the panels can be detached with the corner button and moved and resized to customize your workspace. The animator is where you can rig up models together and choose to animate them. First step to making a rig is to have an object to attach. If you've already modeled objects, you can go to the library drop down menu and import VXM or you can create a new object. Here I have a simple set of drawers as an example. From the skeleton panel, you begin building the structure of your rig. Pressing the three dots button on the root node will let you create your first child node. Let's set its name. Your first node should always be your control node with all other nodes branching off of this one. To attach an object to a node, left click and drag it to the node you want. Other than the root, an object can be used any number of times, but a node can only hold one object. See here, I've attached the drawers to two different nodes. With the move and rotate tool tools from the top menu, you can start to make the shape of your rig. Toggling on the show rig button can help you visualize how nodes are connected to their children. The pivot point set in the modeler is where you'll see the parent and child connect together. This will help you work out where the pivot needs to be placed to give your work the correct rotation and movements. In the inspector panel, we can see all these transformations we've made with the move and rotate tools as they have changed the values listed. We can also manually type in the numbers if we want exact position changes, or we can use the arrows to make slight changes as well. Inverse kinematics is activated with the IK button on the top menu and controlled in the lower part of the inspector panel. This allows children to pull parent nodes within set limits for faster and natural flowing animation. Right now, inverse kinematics is still being worked and improved upon. In the timeline, we can begin creating an animation. Each tick is one frame and every 24 frames is one second. The first frame is always a keyframe, which is the starting position for all our objects. Press play and stop or move the arrowhead to a select frame and then move our object to a new desired position. Pressing the play button will auto loop after the last keyframe. Let's make these drawers open and close. Whenever making any animation, make sure to close all of your keyframes. To do this, move the arrowhead to the very final keyframe in the animation, and then press this diamond icon, and it will close all of the keyframes. We'll be going more in depth on each of these sections in later videos, so don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload brand new videos. See you later, Voxel lovers.